y'all <laughs> welcome back to the channel welcome to a video that i haven't done in a very long time as you can tell we are in my kitchen and i've been recording all morning slash afternoon it is currently 1 p.m and i haven't eaten and i'm very very hungry i've been drinking tea drinking water but honestly at this point i'm I, i'm a fall off i'm a fall off my legs if i don't eat something so uh, we are doing a what i eat in a day yay so i spent a few minutes before uh switching the camera on just prepping the vegetables and the eggs and whatever breakfast slash lunch is going to be a omelet i haven't had an omelet in a really long time i'm so 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 excited so excited so Let's get this video going. Okay, so these are the ingredients we're working with today. And here I've beaten my eggs with a little bit of milk and some aromet because I love aromet. <laughs> and I've got half of Vienna here. Lots, I think it's about three. Yeah, three, three mushrooms. Um, um, rosa tomatoes chopped up. This is sort of like a mixed... It's a cheese. It's a cheddar cheese with um, sun-dried tomatoes and blah, blah, blah. I'm going to add that to the um, omelette. And then we have uh, spring onions or in other countries, I think they are called scallions. So what I'm going to do first, the pan is already going. This is an egg pan. It's quite small, as you can see in relation to my hand. It is quite small. Uh, what I'm going to do first is fry up the mushrooms and the viennas together fry them up and then remove them and then add the eggs so i'm gonna do that now all right there we go mushrooms and the viennas from the pan cleaned it up and now I'm going to add the eggs I ended up making three eggs instead of two because they were quite small and I just thought to myself you know what it's fine even if I don't finish it I'll just put it in the microwave and have it later or something but um, I'm gonna add that to the pan now oh oh Listen to that sizzle. I'm going to leave it for a little bit. And then, of course, I'm going to add. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to flip it. I really don't have a plan as to how I'm going to flip it. But I'm going to leave it for a little bit so it just hardens a little bit at the bottom. Then I'm going to add my ingredients on the one side and then try and flip it over and see how that will work. Um, so what I'm doing now is just going over the rim of the pan just to try and get it to lift as we go. Uh -huh. Okay, it looks pretty good. So what I'm gonna do now is add some of the ingredients here on the one side as we go. Praying to God, this works. Oh, flip it! Oh, snap! It didn't flip all the way. <laughs> Flipping it! <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> we did it! We did okay. it! Okay, so it is pretty much done. There is a lot of the omelette left over, so I'm going to put this in a small container and then uh, put it in the fridge. But this is pretty much what we are looking like. Um, I don't have bread in the house, but I've got whole wheat wraps. So I took them and I warmed it up a little bit. And yeah, I'm going to have this half an omelette with some whole wheat wraps. And then I've got a bit of the scallions oops and the cheese left over so i'm gonna just drizzle those on top like so looks gorgeous and that is breakfast 
Tan. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a taste test. So I cut the wraps into like miniature pizza slices and I am gonna fill <laughs> the pizza slice with some of the omelet. This could get real messy. Let's get a tomato up in there and then curve it up like so. Yeah, look. Need a little bit of a spring onion in there, you know what I'm saying? There we go. Cheers. Itarakimas. Mmm. 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 Oh my god, it's so good. Mm. Luna. Oh, it's good. Hi. Hi. Um, so it is. Let me just. I'll be back. So it is a couple of hours later, maybe about two and a half hours. It's just after three. And I have decided I'm not gonna have lunch. What I will have as a substitute to lunch is a green smoothie. Now, I can show you for the purposes of showing you, I swear to you, this guy's is clean. It's so clean. It's just that I've had this thing for years and uh, yeah, you can only do so much when you're cleaning it and have a have myself a smoothie show you how to make it it is really really simple um you guys know i make my smoothies um with spinach all the time all the time i make my smoothies with spinach so this is not going to be new to anyone who watches this channel consistently So what I've started doing with my smoothies because um, I've cut out adding milk to my smoothies. Not all the time, but I've cut it out most of the time. What I started doing is I add juice to my smoothies uh, and I make sure that the juice doesn't have any sugar unless it's like orange juice or what have you. But um, yeah, so I add um, juice to my smoothies and this week, um, I have been adding this one. This is the Sir Fruit and Vegetable Juice Blend. This is pretty much what it looks like. And I have been, we're on Friday today. I shouldn't even be having a smoothie because I give myself the weekend not to go crazy with the greens. But I didn't have it yesterday and I feel like crap. Um, so here I have the, uh, the Sir Fruit green machine which is apple spinach and other fruit and vegetable so i'm gonna add this in there i just need this for a liquid so i don't really add too much of it okay still got a little bit left add this straw and then that is my green intake for the day so here's my lunch I'm on lunch. <laughs> I'll see you guys a little bit later for dinner time. Mm. Hey y'all, it's dinner time. I've got my gown on because it's a little bit chilly. Um, and for dinner, as I said, I'm going to be having leftovers. So I really don't see why I should show you. I'll show you what I'm having. Um, and yeah, I'm pretty much gonna plate that up, warm it up. Um, my father ended up visiting. And we were social distancing and everything. Um, and I ended up chilling with him pretty much for half the afternoon. So I, yeah, it's a little bit late. It's 20 past six. By this time, normally I'm, I'm done eating. Like I don't worry about having to eat and all of that. Um, and by this time, my makeup is off. <laughs> so I'm a little tad bit annoyed at the fact that... Um, I still have my makeup on but what I do I what I'm thinking of doing is actually doing a what I eat in a day today and tomorrow so I will actually extend this what I eat in a day into tomorrow because today I'm not really cooking anything I might not cook for, for supper I'm not cooking anything for supper 
I might not cook anything tomorrow for supper as well because it's Saturday and I really am quite lenient on myself over the weekend. I buy takeout and whatever. So I'll just keep keep that up for tomorrow as well so that the video isn't too short but for now let me show you what i'm gonna plate up um, so i just whipped these out of the fridge um this is actually a seafood and cream uh in a cream sauce a seafood mix in a cream sauce in here there's like calamari mussels uh what else is in there prawns um some fish and what have you so i'm pretty much just gonna lay the whole wheat uh what is this spaghetti yeah the whole wheat spaghetti i'm pretty much just gonna lay it down in here and then top that off with the um what is that the cream seafood mix that's pretty much what i'm gonna do and then i'll chop up some parsley and then eat that morning everybody so it's a new day and i'm going to finish off the what i eat in a day so it's going to be like a weekend what i eat in a day you feel me so um i'm about to make some breakfast and i really feel like sourdough toast with apple i really like to top it off with an egg most of the time but i'm not quite sure if i want an egg but sourdough toast with apple oh very very nice um woolies has this really great sourdough bread and quite expensive <laughs> but uh every now and again every now and again i like to indulge myself in that bread it is really really good bread um if i'm feeling a little bit if i'm looking or seeming a little bit um low spirited i'm not it's just that my eyes are watery not burning but watery really really uncomfortable at some point it feels like they hazy and i can't see so i'm gonna just um i'm going to apply those sustained drops and then put on my glasses but i am feeling fine uh, i took out some salmon maybe i might make some salmon and veggies for um lunch slash no not lunch dinner um yeah so what you're pretty much gonna see today is breakfast and dinner lunch i pretty much i don't know i think i'm gonna just wing it i don't know um and then i'm gonna end it there So the avocado toast is below me. I'm gonna do a little bit of a taste test. I haven't had this in such a long time. Oh, look at that yolk spill out. Let's taste it and just do my coffee. Cheers. I mean, mmm, mmm, mm. that's sourdough toast though. Ah oh, man. I mean, avocado toast is always a win, always a win, so. 
Okay, so it's much later now, and this is the food. Um, it's basically just veggies with some salmon, and I think I'm going to have it with a whole wheat wrap. Um, just have them on the side like I did with the omelet. Um, yeah, uh, this is pretty much what I'm going to have. I'm going to dish up now. It's much later on in the evening. I think it is about quarter... What time is it? Quarter past six i think and i normally eat around this time by half past six i'm done eating so i'm gonna eat now dish up everything and then that'll pretty much be it for my what i eat and so this is pretty much my dinner easy peasy plain <laughs> simple nothing too hectic really like it that way that's pretty much it for me i hope you guys enjoyed this what i eat in a day weekend edition uh, I'm gonna go and probably edit this later on tonight but I hope you guys enjoyed it until then I'll see you in the next one